think a lot of uh, people forget about uh, this corner of the industrial area, but um, there are some pretty amazing things happening here. A business that started off in 1935 producing castings for the wartime efforts and the shipbuilding industry grew into building municipal castings for the entire Okanagan Valley, eventually becoming the Penticton Foundry in 1984 and now supplies numerous industries with its products. It was around that time that management also decided to uh, produce castings for the mining and uh, smelting industries which was a really important decision for diversifying the products that were being made at the foundry. Now in 2021, we can pour up to 90,000 pounds a day and we sell to customers all over North America. With over 60 employees and a 120,000 square foot facility on five acres, the company produces ductile iron castings and high chrome white iron castings that are meant to last. And our pipes have shown to last uh, 15 times longer than the alternative that's being used there. So we've saved our customers millions of dollars in downtime, and we're very proud to be the original innovators of that technology and to be 100% uh, Canadian-made manufactured. While the pandemic has impacted the company, the future continues to look strong on production. So we've been extremely fortunate uh, through the pandemic. Over the past year, we've been able to operate uh, five days a week. Um, our workforce is uh, down about 20%, but we're looking to build that number back up. Uh, there's a lot of optimism around the second half of this year and into 2022. And we have existing customers and, and even new customers looking to fill our excess capacity. And Penticton Foundry works hard to engage with the community and to make donations to the local charities and groups. A big focus for the company is continuing to bring innovation, building a lab last year to produce wafer-thin UT sensors to provide real-time wear information in their forecast armored pipe. Penticton Foundry continues to advance its new sensor technology. I'm really proud of the team that's here. Uh, I'm extremely fortunate to be a part of this group of uh, very innovative and hardworking uh, foundry men and women and they come to work every day to solve our customers' problems and to uh, deliver a quality product. And every day I learn from this highly skilled team and um, I, I just feel very fortunate to be a part of this group and a part of this company's history now and I'm very excited about Penticton Foundry's future. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.